My political campaign was the first to use social media uh, in my country. It was in uh, 2009. So it was part of the first stage of social media uh, being used into politics. And at that time, I would say that there were more the positive um, use of social media rather than the negative effects of them. Uh, so at that time, for example, uh, it was very important uh, to uh, use social media uh, in order to bring my message to more people than before. Uh, at the same time, uh, we were able not only to bring our message, but also to listen to the people. It was a kind of two ways communication. Uh, so we had the opportunity, as never before, to interact with citizens, uh, to know about their concerns, um, to take some of the ideas they had and to uh, add those ideas uh, to our political platform. So in general terms, I would say that it was a very, very good experience. Well, unfortunately, uh, we have seen many kind of risks uh, arising from the use of social media. It is not social media uh, itself. It has to do mostly with the ways some uh, people or some sources are using social media. There are some kind of malicious uh, use of social media that is creating uh, many kind of uh, different problems. I should mention that probably uh, the most important risk has to do with fake news, with disinformation, with creating some kind of um, aggressive environments during the electoral processes. But also we have seen in some elections, for example in Latin America, but not only in Latin America, also during the political campaign in the United States, how um, some sources use social media uh, to um, delegitimate the role of the electoral authorities, uh, trying to suggest that there were going to be kind of uh, um, uh, fraudulent uh, uh, events, trying to suggest that there was going to be a kind of rigged elections if the results were not going to favor one candidate. So what we see is that social media is not only being used in a traditional way to, for example, contrast the ideas among the candidates, but also uh, to spread um, disinformation and to affect the credibility of the electoral authorities. There are very good experiences about how to neutralize the use of the negative use of social media. So international and regional organizations can bring those practices uh, together and try to share them with different kind of actors all around the region or the world. It is also important uh, to um, promote some kind of recommendations. Uh, for example, it is possible uh, to um, propose some kind of standard measures as to how to face the negative effects of social media, um, promote some kind of uh, codes of conduct, uh, promote uh, the principles that should um, inspire the regulations uh, we would try to implement uh, to neutralize the negative effects of social media. Well, the Commission, um, of course, uh, is trying first to identify uh, the uh, most important challenges 
uh, coming from social media or the use of social media to electoral integrity. Our main concern has to do with electoral integrity. Something I should say is that uh, since we have noticed that most of the discussion is taking place in the global north, I mean, most of the recommendations and the experiences uh, are coming from uh, the developed countries. Uh, we want to focus our attention on the Global South because uh, we are very much concerned that the same things, the same kind of negative um, effects in the use of social media uh, is ha are happening, are taking place in the, in the, uh, in the Global South, but they do not have uh, enough tools as to face those challenges. So that is why we decided that our main focus, again, is going to be in the Global South.